Okay. How's everybody doing? This is something. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. I have... I'm under three digits now on long boxes. This is a long box. You see it here. I ain't moving the camera anymore, but... It's an old ass long box. This long box was probably bought in about 90, 91, 92 by my cousin. He's now a school teacher. Just got a nice house. Hey, congratulations, sir. Back in 2007 when... My aunt and his aunt passed away. We're pallbearers. We're talking for the funeral and saying, "Ask about my comics." We got bought them. Boom is going on. I'll give you a box. That might be what's in here. It might be who knows what's in here. This has been buried underneath like piles and piles of other long boxes for at least at least five six years, probably closer to eight. So I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to move this just a little bit so I got a little more room to put comments in where you can see them better, and then I'm going to get started. Okay, that's a lot, 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 lot better. All right. Well, like I said, I don't know what's in here. It's fairly, it feels, I've opened it up and seen it's almost full. It's all done. And some shit's bad to border, some shit it. That's it. This is a B on here, so I don't know what that is. It looks like my cousin's handwriting, but I don't know. He mostly had, like, Valiant and, like, Speculator shit. I'm just going to grab a handful and... Okay. Okay. We got... Classics Illustrated. In the Reign of Terror. G's G.A. Henty. 25 Center. Got a Carol sticker on it. Hey, we got another one of these classic. I got a bunch of classic illustrated. This is a beat up copy of Castle Dangers by Sir Walter Scott. We got a Junior Classic Illustrated. It's Puss in Boots. Alexander Dumas's The Conspirators. This is the cool shit. Holy hell. Hold on. How much of this do I have? Let me give me a second here. Wow. Okay, I remember, I actually remember buying all this. Jesus, did I remember this much? Okay. I'm just gonna. That big a stack of grew, I'm just gonna. Okay, this is the Epic Book 2, The Chronicles. This is what reprints the, like, indie stuff. Is that okay? Epic number one. Which at one time was like, you know, $15 book. I got it, I got all these for <laughs> probably 15 bucks shipped. Epic, uh, grew up at number seven. I know you're going to be, oh my god, they're out of order. Yeah, I should, I said, you're right, you're right, I should. So, move those, yeah, beat ups. Actually, my girlfriend was, I was going to be demolished. I'm going to look at that fucking, I didn't know I had that. Grew number nine. Okay, ten. Twenty, through twenty-four, through twenty-five. I started reading about thirty. I think it was thirty-three, eighty-seven. Yeah, that's probably about when I started reading because I would have been about thirteen. When I started reading forty-two. Is that when he? Oh God, look at that. This tribute to oh God, the firm of uh, Little Abner. I can't think of the name now. This is this ten bucks on the back. That's from forty-three. There's no way. Grew. Grew 44. Grew 46. And this thing went like 100. Because this is when the, near the run where I was picking these up often. Like, I haven't had a couple copies of 50. With uh, Chalk, I think's her name. She's like, his Red Sonia. And then this one I've had forever. It's just dumb bad. It's beat to hell. It's uh, 56. And I got 110 is the newest one. <coughs> Give me a second. Nice little stack. Okay, check something out. Okay. 110, that is. Two twenty five an issue. Issue one, which is eighty five to seventy five cents. <laughs> and a hundred and nine issues it went for seventy five cents is two twenty five an issue. And this is a regular size. So this is issue one. Okay, that's not cool. Okay. Is it another run? Let's see. Let's make sure I don't like I like Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's look at a handful here. Well. Oh. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of it's kind of weird. You gotta wait till you see the selection. But yeah, what's in there? Right, I got another stack here. I got some. Well, I got some bags. Mine. The mobile initiative from Mutant and Evil Syndicate. This is one of those Wayne Cordova, Howard Jeanette, um, the land comics based around like cartoon. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Comic Geek Speak. Back when that was the big thing for comic, you know, online fandom. You had a bunch of shit, a bunch of shit, sorry, do you know what I mean? Shit is like not good. A bunch of comics came out, a bunch of stuff. Shit isn't stuff. I forgot I have a copy of this. Godzilla vs. Barkley. I definitely got to do a video on that. And then this, uh, it's the only one of these that came out. The Eclipse, uh, Dinosaurs Attack number one, look at that. Check this out. Harrier, Dead Face number one. Uh, Mortal Iron Fist number one. Shares around the clue. Dead Clown number three. Okay. Yeah, you can see the top. This is the one out of all the classic illustrated notes. Probably the most, it's still beat up. It's the one I got that's probably worth the most because, I mean, you know, anything about literature, you know, that title, you see this cover. This did not get reprinted, it's issue 15. This is probably my absolute favorite. And this is one where I'm going to end up putting this up on the wall. This is Frankenstein. I'm going to do a video on that. Oh shit, Beavis and Butthead number one. Fuck yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, Battlestar Galactica number three. Is this a Walt Tomlinson? That's Iron Clone. Iron Clone, that. Alf 41. Holy hell, that's way late in the run. Um, was this, this is just Marvel Comics by now, I think. Yeah. World's Finest, 52 page, Dollar Special, 81. And then, I'm just like, yeah, for a second. Adventures of Cellini, that's what I kidnap, that's what I was trying to do, that's what I was after. Alexander Dumas, okay, I'll put that, oh, this is like just a falling apart song, I don't know why I thought it <laughs> Some of these are really beat, man. A <laughs> Black Beauty, really beat. Man Without a Country, Rip Van Winkle, that's an actually a fairly good shape that Rip Van Winkle is. Oh, man. Almost never go back in that box. I need to put those to the Get any more of those. Okay, let's just get rid of Same thing again. Well, that works. It's weird. Like it's like when I pack this box, I set the classic illustration. It's up. It's like divider boards. I love it. I love it. Okay, this is Ambush Book Number Four. So this is what the first mini series probably. Yeah. Look at that hex hex by the white card. Here we go. Angel on the Eight, number one, by Phil Foglio and K.S. Wilson. This shit is, oh, it's so good. Anything Phil Foglio does. This is, why do I have, I guess because of Swamp Thing. It's an Aquaman issue, and it's, I think, Peter David. Jim, 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 Jim. Um, the Dark Knight. This probably came with some DVD I bought. Okay. This I've had since whenever the fuck this came out. 89, okay, yeah. Buck 75, 1989, so I would have been, whatever, I think it just came out towards the end of the year, so I've already changed for that year, I've already changed the age, so 89, I would have been 15, I remember my teacher, my math teacher, she was going, you paying a dollar 75 for that, you know what procedure allowance that is, it's like, yeah, I can figure you told me how to, but I don't care, it's Batman. James Owsley, this is old, but it's James Owsley. That's uh, Christopher Priest, Michael Bear, Gray Morrow, Kevin Dooley, Malcolm Jones. Just, oh, this is great. I got to do one on that. I mean, like a white flyer. That man, Dark Joker, the wild, like, ash can, Batman Grungle ash can. I don't know if any of these ash cans like that are worth a fuck or not. Somebody tell me. I really have no clue. Uh, Blue Devil 19. Demas, like Earth in this issue, 41. 42 is an in this issue. Oh, shit. That does. Green Arrow, 64, which would be Grell still. Green Arrow, Annual 5, which is an Eclipse of Within. Ooh. I like when you get the old comic shop stickers on the front. Uh, Green Arrow, The Wonder Years, Mike Grell, and Gary Marr. Oh, that's a credit. Green Lantern. 
Uh, yeah, Brandon Turner, if you're watching this, you're not getting a great narrative, so just don't even ask. It's a greater question in the butcher team that I'm keeping out. And then we got a big stack of Classics Illustrated, buddy. Uh, buddy of mine. Excuse my name, so What it was is he was getting into collecting VHS. This guy, it was one of these people that was born like. By the time he was old enough for the allowance and stuff to buy his own home media, it was DVD. And he probably had like a DVD player in the room. He probably got one in his bedroom not too long like that. Yeah, so he's probably like 12 then. So VHS was when he was a little kid, but he loved it. A neighbor just like, look, we got bags so we can have shit. So I traded it to him and he offered all these plastic fields, trading a pile of other stuff. It ended up being a really cool deal because the only thing it cost me was shipping. And now shipping was high. I spent like 40 bucks, but I shipped him like 200 tapes or something like this. I got a pile of DVDs, I got a kick-ass, like, CD case, and then I got a pile of these classics. Illustrate Cleopatra, Compass Mexico, the Line of the North, the Cossack Sheep. That's in good shape. Two years before the mast. Oliver Twist from Charles Dickens, that's in pretty good shape, Captain Curry, that's really good. Yeah, the back cover stayed. Soldiers of Fortune. Hey, that don't look too bad. Waterloo. Caesar's Conquest. Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. I gotta start putting these someplace else because that one stack's getting too high to deal with. So give me a second here. Oh, wow. I did it good. Alright, let's see. Wow. That's a big stack of them. Alright. There's like little pieces here. Oh, shit. Uh, well, yeah, because it's alphabetical, you'll get it, but, uh, all three issues of Another Nail. But Alan Davis, Mark Farmer, John Cleese, this is what? One. This was the thing where, like, it was a world where Superman in the first miniseries didn't exist. It's called The Nail. It was like, because the, the Kent's car hit a nail... I like had a nail in the tire so they didn't go and they stayed in during the storm and fucked or something stupid. So Superman was raised by the Amish and this is like after that. And then I have right after it. It just goes off the I got all three issues. Like, well, these are beat up reader copies. Like that would make a really cool trade actually. They still had binders that did that pretty decently. That'd be a decent little trade. But that's a cool set of movies. I know what this next one's going for. I actually scared the shit out of somebody at a con. We get all these. <laughs> all right. That's all I care. So, <clears throat> here's some. This is some really nice, you know. Decent reader copy Jonah Hexes. This guy was one like a buck for. And this was around the time when <laughs> the Jonah X movie was being talked about. So I think we knew as we had filmed the movie. By then, and kind of like some of the cast. So these should have been a little bit more than what they were. I wonder what I was doing through the guys' boxes. <coughs> and I didn't see these. He goes, really? Like, oh, I'm really right now, but I'm kind of looking for like the Witchblade shit after a certain run because I've read like a couple of trades. I go and like some Jonah Hex stuff to get more caught up before the movie because I read a little bit. It's like, yeah, not a lot, you know, just cheap reader stuff. You know, dollar issue. Maybe. I mean, I might go, you know, if it's a, a special issue, like maybe five bucks. I walk off. I'm over at another guy's table, digging through a box like I got over here. Digging, that's for some of this shit I'm sure it came from. I got earbuds and I'm listening to something. And all of a sudden, there's a, a tap at my shoulder, and I spin around. And there's this guy that's like three or four inches tall. Me looking at him, he's looking at me. And he's handing me a stack. Of copies. And it was these had these hexes was a couple more, like a couple issues of which way we found them. I'm like, okay, yeah, I go. Which one is? He said just dollar bills right here. I gave him. It was like. Eight, nine comics, gave him a ten. I was like, he's not worried about change. But yeah. Um, Jonah had 16, Jonah had 76, and Jonah had spectacular number one. I think that's the one that reveals his death. But he's got great covers. Like, look at that one shit going <coughs> There's something else. There's something underneath there. Oh, there's a. Oh, shit! Look at that. Jonah Hex 34. Look at that Christmas cover. Fuck yeah. I love this Jonah Hex. That is one of those series where. Oh, man. I would love a nice color collection that was affordable. Right, 
I got it. Yes, yeah, so, hey, uh, this is when what, Levitz is on it. Uh, excuse me, some more JSA with Levitz. A really beat up Midway Justice League Adventure 7. Now, some of these actually have some value. That one definitely don't because this beats the fuck up. The Hacker Files number six. This was a uh, like 90s boom attempt at like kind of vertigo y and DC Universe shit. It didn't work. Uh, Hawk World. This is all Stranger and Nolan by now. Let me see. Uh, Stranger and Nolan. Okay, yeah. You don't have Tim Truman on it, but that cover's really sweet. Uh, Hawk World. Uh, Hero Hotline issue six. I've never actually read this. I've never heard about this shit though. It's actually fairly stupid and good at the same time. So that gets pulled to the side. Oh, I'll actually look through that. Uh, Batman Hunter spoiler blunt trauma number one cataclysm. I have no fucking clue what this is. Infinity. In oh shit! I just realized what it said. Infinity issue thirty six. Okay, so you're looking at okay. That's uh, Solomon Grundy, I'm assuming it's Jade. That is the Golden Age Green Lantern's daughter, and Obsidian is his son. See, so, there's actually Thomas McCarthy. Oh, uh, Thomas. Or Thomas? What's the point of time? This is early. This is really early McFarlane work, if I remember right on, like, big league shit. This is, God, a dollar fifty-two and eighty-seven. It's how my friend was pencil on this. That's probably why. Hmm, that's probably why I grab. Yeah, that is why I grab this. This is the kind of stuff that I grab out of cheap bins. Cause is, is his Infinity Ink run like? I mean, I know like there's a probably a collection somewhere of the entire damn run. Cause somebody wants the entire damn run. There's like, is there like a Tommy Curl in a DC collection? You know, or do I have to dig this shit out of the cheap bins? And then we got another fucking. Classics to illustrate. I'm gonna go long as fuck on this. Don Quixote, The Miserables, Kill Two Cities, Julius Caesar, Prisoner Zendas in fairly good shape. The Gold Bug and other stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, that gets put to the side. I don't know who that's going to. Longfellow, Queen's Necklace, Alexander Dumas. Yeah, I know that goes too. Hamlet by Shakespeare, Freedom's Cause. That's in good shape. That's probably the one too. King of the Kyber Rifles. Typey and Mysterious Island, Adventures of Marco Polo. Anybody out there wants them, just let me know and I'll charge you postage plus something. I'll fucking throw that shit in there. Tell you what, I can put that shit in a, a meteor, a meteorized. What the fuck they call those boxes? Ordinary box. It's like 15 bucks and then give me. Corner made a hand lamp. I might ask for a dollar an issue. Because I do have a huge stack. I just want to get rid of it. Yeah. I thought it'd be cool to ask what these were called. I heard about it. I heard about it all the fucking time as a kid. You know, oh, yeah, that's how we cheated at school. You know, it was our close notes and all that shit. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And, and then I got them. I'm like, oh, well. That was kind of cool. Oh, okay. So this is starting to get into more like. More like kind of sorted, sorted stuff. Now, that's a 50 center. It says 18 Titans number seven. So, is that the first? That's got to be the first one. That's a Perez. Okay. 23. I've probably got almost a full run of the good part of this piece. Yeah, there's a 61. Hey, check it out. 121. By this time, we got Wolf. Hey, Wolfman's on it. What the fuck is up with this? Is that Supergirl? This is a good little series nobody ever talks about. So, Foglio, too. Yeah, look. I got what, two issues on it. Yeah, two or four. All right, this. I'm going I'm to. I have probably more of this. This is a good chunk of my question run. Because the question is one of the series that I read the DVD pieces here and there because I couldn't get to the comic shop regularly when this shit was coming out in 87. Because they've been 12, 13. And plus a buck 50, man. It's like, that's the price of two dollars. I just got these covers, yeah. Shit, do not put that there. Question number eight. That's a 
O'Neill Cowan and Madar. Question number 10. Number 11. Most of these are pulled out of cheap ends, and that's the thing. They have trades of these. The trades are 15 bucks for like six issues for a long time. You went out of print. They go for way more than they should. Last time I looked, like I had the first one, and that's it. And that fucker goes for a fortune. There's a paperback book telling the story from like the first like 12 issues. That goes for too much. These issues, they were in the dollar bins at comic shows for comic bins for a long time. I picked these up now. It's probably been over 10 years ago now. That's a good cover. This is a good cover. 13. That's a good one. 14. 15. 16. I had it in 17. 18. 19. 20. 20. Oh, God, look at that. 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, damn, 27, 28, I need 29, I got 30, I need 31, I got 32, I got the annual issue one, question quarterly number one, and question quarterly number three, wow, that's a nice one, that question, I'd love to read, that's our thing, I don't know where this box is going, when I get to the city. And then the rest of the stack is like a rack man number one. This would be really 91, so I don't know who the fuck. The Ray number one, number two, number three, number four. Uh, don't have, is this the full mini series? Is this the mini series? I don't know. Is this the real series? It's pretty important to know that it was a uh, Casada on the mini series. I got the mini series. So the Ray, Ray was a cool little series. It was a neat little way. It's kind of like them trying to do like All Star Squadron. Uh, Ray Thomas hit with All Star Squadron. This is one where now I'm pretty sure I've got almost a full fucking run of this for like the third time. But uh, the Ray, oh, great little series. Damn. Is that the last one? Yeah. Okay. It's a series I recommend multiple times. I don't want multiple. This is the of course. This is issue two. Issue you were just saying, uh, issue four, the Firestorm. I'm missing issue five. I got issue six with the Crimson Avenger. Issue nine with the Star Spangled Kid, Sky Man, Golden Age Flash. Issue twelve with this kind of curvy looking Challenger Unknown, Golden Age Fury. Issue thirteen with Nightwing and Johnny Thunder. Issue fourteen with Suicide Squad. That's kind of. Oh, this one ain't bad. It's in bad shape. Issue 18, Golden Age, Green Lantern, and Creeper. I got some of these duplicates because I bought them again. I always buy these out of cheap ends. If you find them, I find them in comic book shop cheap because these are actually in okay shape like this. worth more than a buck. Uh, this is, what, 19? This is Uncle Sam and the Guardian. That's another, like, kind of, that's a curvy Okay, this is 20. This is a Batgirl and Dr. Midnight. 21, Jonah Hex and Condor. 25, Legion and Adam. 26. Black Lightning and Miss America. That's a cool looking cover. 32 uh, Justice League. Whoa, shit. 33 is the Justice League International, which is Mr. Miracle, Green Flame, and Ice Maiden. We got all that anyway. Valentina is on Ice Maiden, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is 34. These are all really neat. Awesome. Captain Adam, Nord, and Red Rocket. This is. Uh, nobody's super. <laughs> super cool. This is. 35, this is the next one, okay. This will be Max Lord, Martian Manhunter, and Booster Gold. Nobody real big. Uh, 38, this, I love this cover. Look at that cover. Speedy and Green Arrow, Grail King, Jared Arnold, Star, Maggie, Tachi, and Nightbird. 39, this is a cool one, because this is one where, this actually has some value for a little bit, because this is part of the, <clears throat> it's a Grant Morrison Animal Man, so you needed it to complete your run for a while. And it's in... In the trades, I know. I'm pretty sure it is. It, it was in the dollar bin eventually in Man Bat. Uh, I guess Nolan does Man Bat. Snrad and Nolan because it's Morrison, Grumman, Hazelwood doing Nolan. Uh, the Rogues Gallery, Flash, 41. Oh, shit. 47. See, I got big gaps back here towards it. This is the Legion. We got the Legion. Chemical King, Feral Egg, Karate Kid. Love this series. How many times have I talked about this series? Ambush Bug, Stanley and his monster, Trigger Twins, Rex the Wonder Dog. <laughs> so much in this issue 48, and then I got annual number two, which is The Flash. I got way more. I know I got way more. 
this if I go dig it in piece together. I could probably I probably not a full set because I'm probably missing like number one and a few a few in there here and there, but not not very far from a full set. You know, probably you know eighty percent, maybe a little bit more. Okay, this work. That'll be a good break. Oh, this is going on forever. Shadow Strikes. That's Magnolia covers. Magnolia on there. Where's the Well, this is it, the final show of the Shadow Strikes. You motherfuckers. Gerard Jones. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. The Spectre 37 Saul Strander Man Drake. Just cool. I love the Spectre. Uh, Suicide Squad issue 45. I was trying to get a full run of Suicide Squad and give up. Uh, Superboy from what? Probably about. Wow. 85, I'm guessing. This is cool. Black Orchid's appearance in the Super Friends comic. I love Black Orchid. Great character. Uh, really old, really beat the hell up Superman I got from somebody. The uh, annual, uh, which is number one, adaptation of the uh, Swamp Thing movie. This is what right here, this right here is what got us Alan Moore. Because this movie coming out, they wanted to have Swamp Thing going. They had the series going, and it wasn't doing shit, and they gave Alan Moore a chance. It's cool, actually. Uh, I don't remember who's on this. Give me a second. I'm uh, getting a stack of Teen Titan, Tales of Teen Titans, Teen Titan Spotlight. I'm trying to get through this quicker. Uncle Sam, number one. Then, then and this is another one where I know I've got a full run of my piece of shit together just having in a while. V. That's like, you know what? Six of the twenty. I think there's twenty issues. Two issues of V for Vendetta. That's BDT series. A Warlord. This is a seventy nine. That's got to be post Grail Warlord. I don't know who would be on Warlord? Like that. This. All right. So when I'm figuring this box is now, this was kind of like I was working on getting all my stuff organized. This was like, excuse me, supposed to be the tail end of my DC stuff. I don't know why these classic Illustrator were stuffed in here. And then, like, the very beginning of my Marvel stuff. And, yeah, you just, yeah. The people that know what they just saw, like, ooh. Yeah, I don't have a full I'm missing a couple. I thought I did. I'm putting these other ones in the box for a second. So, this one right here. Uh, yeah. That is such a great series. I don't know why. I have not seen any. Is it, like... Is it creator owned? Maybe I mean, is there was there a really good reason why it has not been? Um, you know, at the very least, traded. You know, you know, you gotta, even if they charge a little bit. But, uh, yeah, wasteland. I got wasteland. Two, wasteland six, wasteland the real number six, wasteland seven. Wasteland 9, and that's it. I had almost a full, I had a full run at various times. It's that great DC kind of like weird horror anthology series. Okay. The best comic by two underground legend greats that nobody fucking talks about. And I've got like four issues here. I got the trade too. This is, uh, yeah, issues 1, 6, 7, and 9. This is Peter Bag and, uh, what, Gilbert Hernandez? Okay, after uh, DC kind of fucked Roy Thomas, he did you know, All Stars. I think that great zero for each. This is some of these are actually worth a little bit. This is uh, one of those giveaways. I only some Marvel stuff. We got like some Avengers, Avengers Spotlight, Avengers West Coast. This is, this looks like Burns. Yeah, this is Burns stuff. I've got a chunk of this. Wow, this is a good chunk of this. I got a chunk of this in a tray, but this is like a good stamp. Like a good solid run of. Get these over. I'm gonna burn. Okay, now we're out of the burn. Okay. Whoa! Why is that? Okay. Sorry, I hit the cord. 
Battle Tide. This is one of those Marvel UK ones. I don't know if should have had it. Captain America. Yeah, Captain America. Yeah. Clandestine. This is not one of those where I try to always collect it. I just never got a full run. Any of these I grab. Uh, these. Had them since I came out. Had a full run. Don't know what happened to the rest. It's a handful of defenders. Of course, the Doctor Strange. I came with the figures. Some Doctor Stranges. Some great covers. Uh. Yeah, I got both of them. The fucking two. The two Excalibur, like, specials I didn't have back in the day because they just cost super much. Uh, Burn. Really cool Burn cover on FF. The Burn. Oh, God. The fucking only thing in Fantastic uh, uh, Secret Wars number two worth reading. And then Firestar number two. That is that's fairly cool. Random as hell box of comics. Like, really is. I'm like, holy shit. We gotta found this, and it's not going back in any kind of order. It's just getting stuffed back in here. I gotta figure out where the hell it's going. Uh, I'm probably just gonna put it on top of the sack. But I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. And read me some. You were hotline. Latest.